Hey guys, it's Sumit and I am back here with another amazing tutorial to easily simulate some handwriting animation in Blender. The reason I come up with such an idea because uh, some days ago I was given some project to do some Christmas animation or a gift card animation where I had to write or I had to animate some sort of a handwriting and uh, I just couldn't figure out how to do that. So I searched all over the internet, uh, mainly YouTube, to see, to get some help from the YouTube so that I could achieve some sort of uh, that kind of a work. But uh, frankly speaking, I couldn't see that, I couldn't find anything that would be that kind of suitable. So I had to do it manually and uh, it took a couple of days for me to figure out how to do that and finally I came up with a very simple idea to animate the same project. That may be sounding fishy but uh, it's very very important sometimes and uh, this can lead you to some sort of a predicament. So I hope you guys would uh, find it useful as I found it. So without any further delay let's get started. So I've opened my application blender and uh, let me get on the process by just clicking away from my home screen here and uh, let me turn on the screencast key for the convenience and uh, the, now what I'll be doing I won't be using too much of a decoration instead I'll be showing you a very simple way to create that and you can use it uh, for any Christmas animation or some sort of a animated Christmas card something like that which I will be coming up after a few days so let us get ahead and uh, for the first uh, at first I will be just getting rid of all these the default object that is present in the, here so I'll select everything by hitting A and again hitting A because that actually is selected and just delay them now we will be selecting top orthographic views for the animation to do so hitting on numpad 5 and then numpad 7 would give me the front orthographic view now here i will be adding the text so shift a going to the text and going to edit mode let me delete them and just give it a random text like blender the software i'm using and uh, once you have uh, input your text and just go on to the object mode you will find that there is a text option which has come up this will give you all the all sorts of uh, options regarding this text so let me change the font at first for this is a font section so i'll be taking it with uh, just a regular and clicking on this little folder will automatically drive, uh, drive me to my uh, system folder uh, mainly to drive C that I'm actually using on and clicking on windows and then clicking to the fonts here it is you can select there are lots of fonts as you can see and uh, let me select this one for the quick tutorial because this enables some sort of a running text now as you can see that the text font has been changed now i won't be using this text for the animation instead i will be uh, i will actually uh, create a mesh and just reduce it to a single vertex and run the vertices extrude the single vertex and run them along the path that i think this will be the path i will take this as a path and run them until i find until i get the entire flow of vertex along with the text here so let me just uh, put my cursor to about here so uh, that's where i want my text flow to be starting so just hit shift a to create a mesh plane and then go to uh, then then uh, and then go to uh, wireframe mode by hitting z and here i will be editing the text so alt m to merge all the vertices at the center so that will leave only one vertex of that plane that I have created and uh, then I will disable the axis option so that I can extrude it and holding on control if I'm left clicking to some place like this it will automatically extrude the vertex in that area so I'll just run along with the path and uh, 
just give it a rough text or rough edge flow of these vertices so by the time i will be doing this it will be it will take some time so let me put this on a time lapse for your convenience okay so now you can see that i have uh, created that little edge flow along with the flow of my text and uh, what i need to do is uh, give another give another vertices run along this this uh, line for the b so what i'll be doing i'll just go to edit mode and select one of the vertices one of the vertices here and just duplicate it by shift d by pressing shift d and grab it and move it along this line and make it a parent so this will be uh, an entire different vertex so again going to the edit mode i will just run along the path here somewhere like this and you can see that there is a huge gap so i'll just make it fist having this done you can see that my mesh or the vertices has been created along with the edge flow of the text so having done this i don't need my text anymore so i'll just hit delete to delete the, the text and here we are with our running of the vertices now you can see that it's a little rough so to smooth the vertices out what i'll be doing is to add a subsurf modifier to it so that it gives us more smooth flow just like our handwriting does and select smooth shading for it and after doing that i have to select apply for this modifier and similar thing i don't need any modifications of this one because it's actually a single line so i'll leave it wherever it is and just give it a smooth shading so our work is partially done but uh, it still needs to be uh, it still need to be do, doing something else here so what i'll doing what i'll be doing is uh, to convert this vertices the flow of the vertices to a curve so in order to transform into curve i have to uh, i'll just press alt c and convert the and select this one curve from mesh or text so now you can see that it has been created as a curve and similar with this one alt c to make it a curve again and uh, let me just check whether my curve or uh, the curves are actually having the, the correct edge flow yeah it's starting from there so the point of it the animation would start from here and run along until it finishes here having these things done i will just select both of them and uh, just duplicate it for our future use because we need two different curve models for this one and select uh, having selected the second one i'll move it to the second second 3d viewport layer or for a second project layer there now selecting this one will enable a curve options here where uh, the curve modifiers have here where i can edit with where i can play with the editings of the curve how to define the curve actually so let me just give it a bevel at first we will select the fill type to full because it will give us a 3d full edge flow of it and uh, just select bevel about uh, 0 0.01 i suppose let me go to the wire the solid view and now you can i can see that it's actually too much of the bevel so 0 0.001 would be good because the handwriting is not so maybe 0 0.002 the point of doing this is that our handwriting is not such a solid material i have to manip uh, i will be manipulating some sort of a handwriting here so it's actually uh, will simulate some sort of an ink flow and for the resolution type i will be selecting 32 giving it full resolution so it's lot smoother than it was before and having selected this one also i will give it a 
uh, we have a resolution of 0 0.002 and the resolution of about 32 same, same thing and the fill type to full having done this i will now save my project as i've already some text uh, i'll just save it from the uh, in desktop just giving it save as text dot blend and save it as a data file in case we need some other tweakings later on so our work is 50 percent done now what to do now it is our time to animate this entire stuff so i'll give it a hundred frame animation for the sake of the tutorial so i'll select at first i'll go i'll select the first frame that is the start frame which is frame one in this case and uh, just give the end value here when you have selected some sort of a bevel drop or uh, when you actually apply some sort of a bevel to your curve automatically you will see that the bevel factor is present there otherwise if i am giving it a zero bevel drop then it won't be actually applied here so what i need to give is to give some amount of bevel structure to my curve so getting on the first frame if i am selecting the end value to zero that means no bevel at all and hit i to insert a keyframe and going to frame 100 if i am just select and give it uh, select the end value to about one and then hit i so you can see that from from uh, frame one or the starting frame it's no bevel there is there isn't any bevel at all and at uh, 100 frame there is a bevel factor uh, let me just delete this one because uh, what I need is because I need to define this at first so let me just click ctrl Z to undo this uh, select maybe frame 85 to give it a full value of 1 and hit I and afterwards at 86 or even 87 if I'm selecting this one and uh, selecting the end value to about 0 and hitting I and then at frame 100 giving the factor value to about 1 that is full factor and hitting I so if I'm playing through the animation you can see that the animation at start playing that starts playing and it's actually too fast moving because I have select the limitation of the animation to about 100 frames you can also control your flow edge flow and another thing I can see that the animation is starting at a smooth smoother pace and by the time it's going at a mid time actually it's taking its full face and then again slowing down so in order to solve this issue I need to split up my window to about two different views where the second one I will be selecting the graph editor and this is our frame or the animation frame that you can see it's actually moving at a curved space so hitting V and selecting vector will give us the constant speed of our animation to be done now having this done i will save my project because our work is finished but not yet finished we have to animate some pen here so let me just uh, go to the second layer because my first layer animation has already been done and to the second layer i will start uh, i'll select this one and what i'll do is again con uh, it's actually been converted to the mesh uh, to a curve i will just select an object here uh, you can create a pin I have already created a pin for this animation but for this animation for the sake of the tutorial I'll be selecting just just uh, UV sphere and put this UV sphere on top of my on top of my animation uh, my curve so as to give it a nice nice uh, topography here or nice position and then apply rotation and scale to it and if i'm doing this and then selecting hitting this one and then selecting this one or even this 
curve if I'm hitting control P and select parent to object keep transformation or just selecting uh, just transformation or sorry it was not like that and if I'm selecting uh, alpha select this one and then select my curve and if I'm selecting control P then if I am selecting kind of follow path then automatically my UV sphere will follow the path along the curve here which is good now one thing is to be notified that whenever we actually enable this this feature of following the path we also we don't have too much of our too much of the freedom doing anything of the path animation or inserting a, a keyframe here because it's actually a locked locked one and the another thing that i had to do is join this thing with this one in such a thing that after writing after flowing after going through this edge flow or the or the curve my sphere would come back here and then create this one and this would be very fast indeed so what i'll be doing just uh, take this one and uh, go to the edit mode select the last vertex uh, select the last point of the curve or the vertex here and uh, maybe extrude it down here just yeah, something like that and then what i'll be doing i'll just select this one and select this one and then join them so having these things done you can easily join it and by just hitting f it will create a nice edge flow now if i'm playing through the animation you will see that after going all through the lines to come back and finish the top b portion here okay my animation is all already done so let us test this thing so Clicking on the sphere with uh, sh uh, holding shift will actually select every entire thing that is present here and uh, move it to the first layer. And if I am now playing the animation, but I'll see a huge disturbance occurring because sometimes, as you can see, my curve is going, uh, my curve hasn't been. The writing animation is taking too fast sometimes it's too slow and sometimes it's actually going way too fast it's been completed by the time it is reaching the uv sphere is reaching at this point my my writing animation is at this point so there is a huge of disturbance that has been created now as i have already told you that you don't have any freedom of doing anything any sort of manipulation <coughs> excuse me i'm getting a dry throat here so as i have told you that you don't have any freedom of uh, controlling your uh, flow of the animation right here everything can be done in the graph editor instead so and sadly speaking you have to do it manually so just hitting on in while in the graph editor will Bring out this properties tab and clicking on the modifiers if i'm deleting this f curve modifier it will leave the entire stuff empty and there is no no running along the curve at all my uv sphere is not at all following but now you can have your now you can have your freedom to move the the uv sphere of the object you have created along with the path so let me just uh, give it uh, uh, let me go to uh, frame 10 i can see that my writing is actually here at this position so i have to manually bring my uh, my uv sphere to about this position let me at first uh, hit on uh, let, but let me at first go to uh, frame one and hit i here so having done this you can see that the evolution time is actually the one which controls the flow of the any object that you have created so having inserted this key and if i'm going to frame 10 you can see that uh, the, the writing is 
over way over here so I have to drag it just just before this this one this animation or uh, this uh, writing and uh, hit I again to lock another keyframe to insert a keyframe and then maybe going to frame 20 you can see that it's way down here again you have to select it manually this is a this this is the only stuff that you have to work nothing else you don't have to work anything else but only in this situation and it's also very easy and i think it's not too difficult to do this just hit i and then maybe go to frame 40 and then again clicking on this area maybe over here and hit i and then go to frame 50 and again slide it away just the point of doing this always keep your object before the flowing of your handwriting so it, it will simulate something which is writing on a piece of paper and uh, thus the animation or the writing is actually it's actually evolu uh, evolving here and then again down to frame 60 just put it over here and frame 70 about this area maybe and frame 80 is where my animation is finishing so just keeping the value down there and you have seen that uh, by frame I think it's from the frame 90 the, my animation is starting so down at the frame 87 I have to bring my object the, this in this case it's a UV sphere to about this region so let me drag it all along and keep it right up front like there and hit I and then go to frame 100 and just bring all the way up to out of there maybe and hit I so for this quick review let me just test whether my animation has done correctly or not because sometimes when there is a lot of curves or when there is uh, actually an angular area the animation does not actually follow the main order another thing that can be done is to give this value or to give the the flow of the curvature to be vector it will again leave everything constant so let me play this and i can see that it's going although it's going too fast it's moving too fast yet you can control the edge flow or the writing flow or the speed of this by just increasing how many frames you want for your animation the more frames you will add the more smoother your animation will be so that's it for the animation and I just uh, have to insert literally a page so bring it over here and let me scale it let me see whether my plane is actually attached I will simulate this plane as a paper and this one as the text as the animation or the writings and slightly bring my slightly bring my page down a little bit maybe some place like this so as to give my my text or the animation to be shown and if i'm seeing it from here that actually it's actually creating some sort of an animation and let me add a lamp in this case let me just give us some lamp and you can see that my animation has already been started so uh, and for the material of this uh, of this of this curve thing what i'll be doing is add a material it will be a very basic material for this coloring i'll just select blue tone maybe even dark one and for this one i'll be uh, for this uv sphere i'll just give a pretty dark dark shader 
and for the paper i'll just follow the i'll just give it a very simple white material so having done this and going to the top orthographic view i'll just add a camera to view my to see whether my animation is is actually made correctly or not so i'll pause my video a little bit and since i am using it on a cycles render you can you could also do it in a blender render the point of this is just to give it as much as much a fluidity as possible so i'll just for the test for testing the scene i'll just give it only maybe 20 samples for creating this animation and select the output folder to be about a vi jpeg and save this to my desktop as text having done this the initial things let me just give it a render and i'll come back to see whether my animation has done correctly or not so that you can see after having this animations done uh, there are some sort of an issue that needs to be fixed the first thing is i forgot to give the materials to this curve and uh, the second is but the uh, and the most important most annoying thing is sometimes like uh, they uh, like on the curve of the e and as well as n where there is a lot of curves there is a slight misposition of the curve and the and this uh, object actually so it's it also can be done very easily you can fix this thing easily and uh, let me get to the editing at first so going through the things the first thing let me fix select this one and uh, you can see that it's actually not getting any material or the second one let me select where are you I don't think that's the main let me hide this thing at first and my when I'm going to this area let me hide so that my this object is actually being displayed and uh, selecting then this one after selecting this uh, line and then selecting the entire curve if i'm hitting ctrl n and then applying materials the same material will be applied to it and uh, let me unhide the curve where it was actually the the thing uh, the what was this the uv sphere was actually moving along so now we'll have to go to our curve step and let just play along the animation a little bit and see whether where the where there are issues to be fixed so far it's going not too going too good so from the beginning you can see that the slider needs to be backed down a little bit maybe right over here and just hit i to insert the keyframe and at this position it's good and now just selecting this one i can see that it's actually going too far away so I'll just back it down over a little bit and uh, then again hit I these are the very very little problems which needs to be solved so far so good over here I again need my slider to be moved a little bit low here and then hit I and just follow through the animation by just dragging the slider or the timeline a little bit so till here it's it's actually following the order and again at this maybe in this area it's actually getting too far away and hit i key again and uh, over here the issues need to be fixed let me go this position and back down a little bit and hit i and let's see whether the same issue is to be fixed something like that and here I can see that in this position my text is actually going 
far away from my slider so I'll hit over here and hit I and at the next frame it's actually getting pierced and uh, till this position it's good and there is a little bit of a problem with this area hit I and uh, maybe maybe in this area a little bit hit I again and uh, over this area I can see that it needs to go up and hit I so there very little problems happen sometimes because of the fact that it does not give us too much freedom to play along with the F curve modifiers of this so there is a difference of flowing of our objects so you have to do it manually I suppose and uh, yeah you could actually come up with the idea of uh, introducing the dynamic paint but that will cost you some even more time and I think for a simple animation where you need a very simple text animation this option stands a good chance and uh, I don't I don't really like to give entire time for a very uh, uh, entire uh, processor comp uh, processor consuming animation for a very simple text animation so I'll just stick up with this idea I, I just come up with this idea and I thought that this one seems to be better if you guys think it if you guys have any other any other suggestions for this one to be made more easy then you could actually uh, you can actually give me a comment and so far so good I can see that perfectly the animation is created and uh, let me give it another render so as to see whether there aren't any there are any issues or not this time so this time I'll just reduce because the last time it took about 15 minutes to render the entire thing so let's give a test render of only five samples and uh, let's hit animation let's hit a render animation and I'll pause my video again and come back after the animation is done okay so render the render is finished and you can see that the image is quite the animation is looking quite nice and uh, yeah and uh, the I had solved with the tweakings that had to be done and uh, it's not looking too bad at all so that's it this concludes the tutorial I hope you guys find it useful and uh, I hope you guys would like this if you like my videos then please give like give thumbs up to this video and please subscribe to my channel so that I can I will be appreciated that will be a much more appreciated of your subscription and it will inspire me to upload more and more videos like this so that's for all today happy blending peace